going to walk through how a chiller works with a magnetic compressor. So what happens, you have the discharge line. That discharge line goes to an oil separator. This oil separator line comes here, separates the oil, and then it goes out the discharge line, out through to the micro channel condenser. It goes through the condensers, and then it comes back as liquid. So you have the liquid coming down, down into the liquid receiver. Out of the liquid receiver, into the filter dryer, through the filter dryer, down in through a pass of the flooded evaporator to make sure that you have enough soup reed going back, your suction header going back. So then that, that liquid comes down, and as you can see, it goes down along the back side. So it goes down along here, in through a solenoid. This solenoid is me making sure you have the proper liquid level inside this evaporator. And then you go through a pressure reducing valve. And if you want to see inside what it looks like inside of a flooded evaporator, which is really cool, now you can see that's the actual boiling going on in the evaporator, which is something really cool. Now you can envision what's going on in any evaporator that you work on, DX or, uh, or not. Then there's your suction going back to your magnetic compressor. Love to hear your questions or comments. My name is Trevor Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.